Hello all and welcome to our TED Talk today on diet choices. Today's diet choices will be low sugar, low carb, and low fat and the advantages, disadvantages, long-term and short-term effects of each diet choice. Okay. What works for you might not work for others. Genes, environment, family, metabolism, etc. can influence the weight factor, so whatever works for you and your body type will work best for you. There are always consequences when cutting out a food group, especially when not replaced with a healthy alternative. Carbs are your main source of quick energy, so completely cutting all carbs out of your diet at once can have a major effect on your body. Having a low carb diet can be great for losing weight fast, but there are always side effects, such as lightheadedness, fatigue, headaches, and constipation. But in the long run, your health problems can really start to catch up to you. A study used the health data from approximately 25,000 people collected through the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey from 1999 to 2010. The researchers found that about 6.4 years of follow-up, people who consumed the lowest amounts of carbs had a 32% higher risk of total mortality, roughly a 50% higher risk of dying from vascular diseases, and a 30 6% higher risk of dying from cancer compared to people who ate most carbs. But there are some advantages of this low carb diet. Harvard had, has evidence that a low carb diet may help people lose weight more quickly than a low fat diet and may help maintain that weight loss. <laughs> Women who ate low carb diets that were high in healthy sources of fats and proteins had a 30% chance lower risk of a heart disease, and 20% less chance of type 2 diabetes. Research at the European Society of Cardiology Congress in Germany found that diets very low in carb may raise individuals' risk of premature death. Many people might not even know what a low-carbohydrate diet is, or what to cut out of their diet to make it a low-carb diet. Grace, will you care to explain? Of course. In this diet, foods you should cut out are bread, beans, rice, potatoes, pasta, sugar, and starchy foods. Your diet will mainly be protein, vegetables, and natural fats. With this diet, you can also eat whenever you feel like it, and there's no need to count your calories or to weigh your food intake before eating it. Moving on to our next diet choice, which is the low-fat diet. If you're on a low-fat diet, that means cutting down on your fat intake, cutting calories, eating low-fat foods, and avoiding high calories. This method helps you lose weight and can help you ward off any serious medical conditions, including heart disease, high cholesterol, and diabetes. Your, although your body does need some fat to function. There are three types of fats. Unsaturated fats, saturated fats, and trans fats. If you are on a low fat diet, your fats that you consume should all be unsaturated fats because they are the most healthy. They come from plants such as olives, corn, and canola, and canola oil. If you are on a low, yep, that's it. Okay, yep. And for our final group, trans fats. Trans fats are found in products like margarines, shortenings, as well as many tasty snacks, such as cookies, cakes, pies, potato chips, etc. Trans fats are created when a food manufacturer changes liquid oils into solid fats, sometimes called partially hydrogenated oils. They do it to make the product last longer. Trans fats raise your bad cholesterol, and it's recommended to avoid them altogether, even if you're not on